Hi guys, welcome back to another art lesson with the Bakersfield Museum of Art. My name is Curtis, and today we're going to talk a little bit about masking. Now, if you're not familiar with what masking is, all it is is when you are blocking off certain portions of your um, canvas or paper, whatever it is that you're working on when you're making a piece of art, to protect those sections from the medium that you're using. So um, you're going to see later on in our actual project how this works, but it's a really cool technique and you can usually, you can really use it for a lot of things. Now before we jump into our project, um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about an artist named Alfredo Aragin um, and how his work is going to relate to our project today. Born in 1939 in Mitoacan, Mexico, Aragin has been based in Seattle, Washington since the 1950s. Using his artwork, he endeavors to connect his adolescence and culture in Mexico with his life in the U.S. Northwest, oftentimes creating a mystical world that oscillates between real life and fantasy. This piece, entitled Metapec, is inspired by the Mexican city of the same name. In this piece, Alfredo references the elaborate and ornamental design of this native craft by rendering hundreds of masked faces and creatures. Patience is required to look and examine every inch and colorful detail of this painting in order to make any sense of what may be underneath the disguises. This piece is also an excellent example of the use of masking. As you can see, the artist has skillfully masked the outer edges of this piece to provide emphasis on the colorful piece within. Before we begin our project, you will want to assemble your supplies. These supplies will include a pair of scissors, some tape, colored pencils or crayons, and a black piece of construction paper. To begin with, you're going to want to take some tape and uh, mask out the outer borders of our image. We're going to be adding more tape in the future, but this is just to establish the boundaries of where, where our images are going to lie. For the next portion, we're going to begin by uh, creating kind of like a grid-like structure within the uh, outer borders that we've created. Um, you'll want to use as thin a piece of tapes as possible, however they don't need to be um, perfectly symmetrical. As you can see, I have made small uh, cuts on the top of my pieces of tape, and I've kind of just uh, physically split them down the middle to create smaller pieces of tape. You don't have to do this, you could use the full-size piece of tape, however to get more um, use out of the space within our borders, it's a good idea to do this. Now that we have our uh, grid-like structure created within our space, what you want to do is take either your uh, colored pencils or crayons and begin to uh, color in each square, and you want to make those as solid as possible. I'm using bright colors to create contrast um, so that I have these nice, clean, uh, bright colored boxes within my space, but you feel free to use whatever, whichever color that you like. I've also challenged myself to make sure that uh, no, uh, none of the same colors are touching one another. As you're coloring your boxes, um, don't mind if your uh, colored pencil or crayon uh, goes over the line onto the tape. Uh, that's what the tape is there for, to uh, protect the paper from any stray lines, so any stray markings aren't going to show up on our final piece of work. And there we are. And now that we have all of the spaces on our grid filled in, we're going to move into our next portion, which is adding some more detail to each of these uh, little colored blocks. To make this piece more similar to Alfredo's from the beginning of the video, we're going to want to add a lot of little details to each of the box. 
And these can really be anything. They can be um, little designs or symbols or maybe pictures of things that are important to you. If you remember, he created a very busy work of art that included symbols from his culture. You'll want to use a dark colored pencil or crayon to uh, create these images so that they are uh, have a good contrast with the colorful blocks that you're drawing these pictures on. Once you've customized each of your colored blocks, we're going to move on to my personal favorite part, which is removing the masking from our image. You'll want to slowly and carefully remove each piece of tape so as not to tear your paper. And as you're doing this, it'll slowly reveal the really cool artwork that you just made. Notice the clean, crisp lines that separate each of your colored blocks. You can hopefully see how um, detailed and complex an image you can create using masking. Here's how my piece turned out, and I'm very pleased with it. Does yours look similar? If it doesn't, that's quite all right. Everyone's art should look differently, and that's great. So, what do you think? I certainly hope you enjoyed today's lesson and that you continue to use masking in your uh, other artworks that you're creating. Thank you again for joining us, and have a great day.